and scrying call three. The angels are just having me relax. So as we're getting towards the end here, even now they're just occasionally reminding me to relax into the vision. And I'm seeing once again, many dots in a square formation, the square formation wrapping into a tube, the two ends of the tube wrapping together to form a ring. The ring is rotating around once again to form a sphere. And then I'm seeing Taurus with a ring within, within it, um, as well as being surrounded by uh, a sphere. And there's some overlap between the spheres, but not between the Tauruses and the rings. And there is a stacking formation of this entire thing um, within a, a double cone, basically, that is basically a diagonal line rotated about the y-axis of an XYZ grid. Uh, grid. So, or graph, I suppose. So the angels are just bidding me to relax and there are infinite number of circles going up and going down and each one larger, or spheres, I should say, <clears throat> going up and going down, each one larger than the next as it uh, goes away from the origin point. So the angels are showing me this and they're showing me sort of everything sort of getting squished down. So the um, line of rotation about this y-axis sort of gets more and more horizontal. And they're showing everything sort of approaching, getting very, very squished. Everything's getting very wide. And they're showing, and so the spheres are turning into elliptoids, very, very flat ones almost. And they're saying, that this is showing how everything is basically, um, they're saying this same analogy is basically what it's like with all of the other dimensions being wrapped up into the 3D, right? So these other dimensions exist, but they're very, very small. So they're trying to very much illustrate this idea that even though we are in a, in a space with additional dimensions, they're very small. So the angels are now moving along to discuss that all of the fire, uh, to, along, as with the, the, the air, the water, and the earth are now wrapped up and held within a spherical consciousness. And that, and this would be an actual, um, as we can imagine it, 3D spherical consciousness. And that, um, there is very little to fear about this, that everything is within its balance, even though we're not perceiving it that way, because we don't have the experience of the all. We only have the experience of the part. But the angels are assuring me that um, even with the suffering, even with the senseless things out there, there is a larger whole that is working its way through um, through suffering, basically, and it suffers with us once again. And I'm feeling a tingling at the nape of my neck and can't quite tell if something wants to be channeled, so I'm just going to leave it there for now. Um, now I'm feeling like a great lifting up within my crown chakra and there's this sort of warming sensation coming down my central column. And once again, the angels are really trying to get as much of me on board with their energetic shifts as possible. And it seems to be working pretty well. And the angels are just saying to relax, and they're also telling you all watching this to relax right now and to just accept. Just try to be very accepting in this moment of everything that you're feeling. And this is what they're saying is like when all of the elements are balanced within and when a spherical consciousness is attained. And as far as balancing inward and outward, 
that will happen, they're saying, um, tomorrow and Thursday. They're just once again advising me that Friday I will be taking off, uh, and then Saturday I will be doing the entire leaf one. Okay, so I'm very grateful to the angels for this. They're saying to not expect anything other than the interruption on Friday, but that other than that, it should be smooth sailing. So very good. I'm very grateful. And so ends the vision.